Welcome to our channel Circuits Analytica. In this video, we will design a series transistor voltage regulator. This is the circuit diagram of a series transistor voltage regulator. Unregulated DC voltage source is denoted as VDC. And regulated output voltage is available across the load resistance RL. Steps involved in the design of a series transistor voltage regulator. Vz is equal to Vbe plus V0. Selection of Zener diode with a breakdown voltage of Vz. Select a transistor with VC max is equal to 2 V0 and IC max is equal to 2 I0. Base current IB is equal to IE divided by beta and IE is equal to output current I0. Current flow through the series resistance is given as IS is equal to IZ plus IB. IS minimum is equal to IZ minimum plus IB and IS maximum is equal to IZ maximum plus IB. VDC is equal to VZ plus VRS. VDC minimum is equal to VZ plus VRS minimum or VRS minimum is equal to VDC minimum minus VZ. According to Ohm's law, VRS minimum is equal to IS minimum into RS or RS is equal to VRS minimum divided by IS minimum. VRS maximum is equal to R into IS maximum. VDC maximum is equal to VRS maximum plus VZ. Now let us design a series transistor voltage regulator with output voltage of 4 volt with a load of 100 ohms. So this is the circuit diagram of a series transistor voltage regulator. Various currents and voltages associated with the circuit are marked. Vz is the voltage across the center diode. V0 is the regulated output voltage. Vbe is the potential difference between base and emitter of the transistor. VCE is the potential difference between collector and emitter of the transistor. And unregulated DC voltage is denoted as VDC. Current flow through series resistance is denoted as IS. Current flow through Zener diode is denoted as IZ and current flow towards base of the transistor is denoted as IB. Output current is denoted as I0. Output voltage V0 is equal to 4. Load resistance RL is equal to 100 ohms. Therefore, we can write output current is equal to output voltage divided by output resistance that is equal to 40 milliampere. Apply KVL to the output loop, we will get Vz is equal to V0 plus VBE. V0 is equal to 4 volt and VBE is assumed as 0.7 volt. So Vz is equal to 4.7 volt. Selection of Zener diode. Select a Zener diode 
with a breakdown voltage of 4.7. That means select zener diode SZ 4.7. From the data sheet of the zener diode, we can find IZ minimum and IZ maximum. Let IZ minimum is equal to 10 milliampere and IZ maximum is equal to 40 milliampere. Mere assumption. Maximum power dissipated by the center diode is BZ into IZ maximum. Maximum power dissipated by the center diode is 235 milliwatt. Selection of transistor. Select a transistor with a maximum collector current of twice the value of output current I0. So 2 I0. And VCE max is equal to double the value of output voltage that is 2 V0. Maximum output current is mentioned as 40 milliampere. As load resistance is of value 100 ohms. And output voltage is given as 4 volt. Select a NPN transistor with IC max greater than or equal to 80 milliampere and VCE max greater than or equal to 8 volt. Selection of resistor RS. VRS is equal to VDC minus VZ. VRS max is equal to VDC max minus VZ. VRS minimum is equal to VDC minimum minus VZ. According to Ohm's law, we can write VRS is equal to IS into RS. So VRS max is equal to IS max into RS. VRS minimum is equal to IS min into RS. Applying KCL at the base of transistor, we will get IS is equal to IZ plus IB. IS max is equal to IZ max plus IB. IS min is equal to IZ min plus IB. So output current is always 40 milliampere. So that means base current is always fixed as 40 milliampere divided by beta or 0 0.4 milliampere. Base current IB is equal to 0.4 milliampere or 400 microampere. Let VRS minimum is equal to 3 volt. VRS minimum is equal to IS minimum into RS. Therefore, RS is equal to VRS minimum divided by IS minimum. IS minimum is equal to IZ minimum plus IB. IZ minimum is equal to 10 milliampere taken from the data sheet of the zener diode. In this case, IZ minimum is assumed. IB is equal to IE divided by beta plus 1. That is equal to I0 divided by beta plus 1. So IB is equal to 400 microampere. Therefore, IS minimum is equal to 10 milliampere plus 400 microampere. IS minimum is equal to 10.4 milliampere. VRS minimum is equal to 3 volt. IS minimum is equal to 10.4 milliampere. Therefore, we will get value of series resistance RS is equal to 289 ohms. Now let us find VDC max and VDC min. Apply a KVL to the input loop. We will get VDC is equal to VRS plus VZ. VDC max is equal to VRS max plus VZ and VDC min is equal to VRS min plus VZ.
VDC min is equal to VRS min plus VZ. Therefore, VDC min is equal to 3 plus 4.7. VDC min is equal to 7.7 volt. So, minimum voltage required to keep the output voltage constant is 7.7 volt. VDC max is equal to VRS max plus VZ. VRS max is equal to IS max into RS. IS max is equal to IZ max plus IB. That is equal to 50 milliampere plus 0.4 milliampere. Therefore, IS max is equal to 50.4 milliampere. Therefore, VRS max is equal to 14.5 volt. Therefore, VDC max is equal to 14.5 plus 4.7 that is equal to 19.2 volt. So, VDC max is equal to 19.2 volt. So, this is the final circuit. The unregulated DC voltage must be between 7.7 volt and 19.2 volt. If unregulated DC voltage goes below 7.7 volt, then the zener diode may come out of conduction. And if value of unregulated DC voltage is greater than 19.2 volt, Zener diode may get damaged. So, Zener diode selected is S is at 4.7. Value of series resistance RS is equal to 289 ohms. And uh, the NPN transistor selected is SL100. Thanks for watching Circuits Analytica. Enjoy learning.